Hello everyone, this is Mr. P. This is our lesson number four on transition words of the series How to Write an Opinion Essay. Now, if you haven't watched lesson number one, lesson number two, lesson number three, I suggest watching. In those lessons, we talked about the introductory paragraph, hook, background, and most importantly, thesis statement. Lesson number two, we talked about the body paragraphs, the topic sentence, detail sentences, and conclusion sentence. Lesson number three, we talked about the conclusion, we reviewed the thesis statement, reviewed the topic sentences, and we gave a final conclusion sentence by adding a suggestion, opinion, or prediction. This lesson, we're going to review the essay, and we're going to add transition words or modify the transition words that are there already. So first off, we're going to talk about the thesis statement, just to review that. It is the main idea about the topic adding one, two, three, or more reasons. It is made up of the topic, the general subject of the essay, controlling idea, your opinion, belief, view, feeling about the topic, and subtopics the areas you will focus on to support your idea. It will answer the question of the prompt given in just one sentence. Please avoid writing, I believe, in my opinion, I think, etc. Now, this is the uh, essay that I wrote. We have a title, as you can see, we have uh, three paragraphs. So it's a three paragraph essay with an introduction, a body, and a conclusion. In the introductory paragraph, we have a thesis. That will be your last sentence of your introduction. It is in yellow with a star. Then we have indented all paragraphs. And I have highlighted the transition words. In fact, however, furthermore, Additionally, in conclusion, or else. Let's define transition words. They are also called linking words. Transition words are used to link words, obviously, phrases or sentences. They help the reader to progress from one idea expressed by the writer to the next idea. Thus, they help to build up a coherent relationship within the text. It is like a bridge between ideas. Let's look at the groups of transition words. We have additive transitions. These show addition, introduction, similarity, or other ideas. Now I listed some of them. There are so, so many. So here we have indeed, also, in fact, or, such as, for example, considering as for, equally, likewise, namely, in other words. Adversative transitions. These are used to signal conflict, contradiction, concession, dismissal. But, however, while, above all, besides, still, yet, despite, at any rate, either way, or rather, at least. Causal transitions. This signal cause, effect, and reason or result. Being that for, as, granted, if, unless, hence, therefore, in order to, lest, otherwise, in that case. Sequential transitions. These are used to signal a chronological or logical sequence. Initially, to start with, previously, after, then, in conclusion, finally, by the way, thus, to resume, and anyhow. Now, this is my essay sample. So, I highlighted, like I said, the transition words. I even highlighted the body uh, paragraph at the beginning just to show that we are missing a transition word. 
What we're going to do now is to try and change the transition words or add transition words. For example, in the body paragraph, we need to add transition words. So I would like you to pause the video and give me your answers. Then we're going to check um, with uh, a sample. Now, it can be different from yours. There is no, no right answer. Just you can, there are so many transition words that um, can, be, can be replaced by the ones that you have originally on the essay. Now, if you have paused the video, uh, we have the key here, and this is just an example. Like I said, maybe yours will be different. So let's review and uh, read the essay. Who does not possess a cell phone nowadays? As a matter of fact, and here we have replaced the uh, transition word that was given, almost everybody has some sort of machine at hand, be it computers, cars, or even washing machines. Even though machinery was devised, to benefit mankind, it has also brought along the destruction to our environment. Now here, I add it for one thing. You can even add another transition word. It doesn't have to be for one thing. For one thing, technological equipment was never programmed to damage nature per se. Nevertheless, it has backfired and it is causing harm to our environment. Many people are careless about leaving their laptops on for long periods of time. Moreover, they do not seem aware of the fact that all this energy and electricity consumption is dangerous to not only our local environment, but to the world as a whole. On top of that, it is the overusage of machinery big or small, that is bringing our society ever closer to global warming. And we must stop this trend. In summary, as technology has improved our lives in general, it has had a toll to our environment. Possessing too many kinds of machinery, such as laptops and phones, or even consuming too much of their energy and battery, is beginning to get out of hand and needs to be controlled. Otherwise, technology will take over our lives and destroy our planet. So I hope you understood this video. If you have any questions about the video, about the essay, please write them under it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't, like the video, and please share it. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.